How to install punch and dimple frames in masonry openings. In any building project, secure openings require the proper installation of a door frame. In this video, we'll demonstrate how to install punch and dimple frames in masonry openings. Select the appropriate materials and tools for the project. Locate the correct frame by matching the opening number to the number on the frame. Ensure the rough opening has the proper dimensions per the manufacturer's installation instructions. Be sure to check the opening height in two places across the width of the opening. The width should be measured at three places, top, middle, and bottom. This will help you determine the amount of shimming that may be needed to install the frame. Note, the rough opening shall be no less than a quarter inch larger in width and 3 16 inch in height than the frame. The maximum rough opening should not exceed 3 8 inch larger than the frame width and a quarter inch in height. Check the opening for plumb, level, and square. Use a 6 foot level for both jams, and a framing square for the corners. If the rough opening is out of spec for plumb, level, or square, do not proceed with installing the frame. Determine the placement of the frame within the width of the wall per the job specification. It may be centered or offset to one side of the opening. If installing a knockdown frame, assemble the frame per the manufacturer's instructions. If you're installing a welded frame, remove the shipping spreader bar before placing the frame in the opening. Make a mark at the top and the bottom of the masonry wall. Snap a chalk line between the two marks. Set the frame into the opening using the chalk line on the wall to locate it. Install a setting spreader bar at the bottom of the frame. Verify that the head is level. If it's not level, shim under the bottom of the frame. Keeping the hinge side tight to the wall and adding shims to the lock side to tighten the frame to the spreader bar. If more than a quarter inch shim is needed, divide the amount of shims evenly between the two jams. Make sure all four rabbits of the frame touch the spreader bar. This will prevent a twist in the frame. Add shims to the jams and measure to ensure the appropriate width is maintained. Align the hinge jam to the chalk line. Check the jam for level and plumb. Determine the size hole needed for the anchor per the installation instructions or project specifications. We recommend drilling and anchoring one anchor at a time. Start with the bottom anchor on the hinge jam. Drill and install the anchor. Ensure the frame remains plumb and level and then tighten the anchor to the manufacturer's recommended torque. Verify the frame's alignment is correct. Then, install the top and middle anchors, checking the frame alignment as each anchor is installed. Also, check the jam for straightness with a level as each anchor bolt is installed. Tape string to the front of the frame in opposite corners running diagonally to confirm they're in alignment. Leave the string in place until the frame is completely installed. Begin anchoring the strike jam in the same sequence as the hinge jam. Be sure to check the width at the center of the frame as you install the anchors. Remove the string and spreader bar. Fill any gaps between the frame and wall with caulk or a backer rod. Your frame installation is complete and is now ready for the next phase of construction.